Okay guys, so our Angel Hines um, charms have actually arrived and these are double sided. So what we do here at Festive Gemini Decor is that we have a circle so we know how um, small we need to have that in. And then that's what we use to guide us as to where that is going to land in terms of the circle for the charm. Um, they are double sided. So one side and two side. Uh, so you can choose to have the same picture on both sides or different pictures um, on one for one side and one for the other. Um, I'm making a sheet of 10 for five of them because they're actually for myself, for my family as gifts. Um, so these are available now. Um, they, we only have five of these right now available though. And their price for these is going to be um, fifteen dollars each so these are customizable and we can print whichever print um, picture you'd like on there and then we'll put them on so once this um, finishes printing we're actually printing it right now we'll go ahead and do a little bit of an update and I'll show you how it sublimates okay guys one of the things to keep in mind about sublimation and I'm sorry I don't have good lighting um, over here is that what you see on the computer is not going to be the same that's printed so first of all anything that's white is just going to stay white there's we don't have white ink regular printers are black yellow magenta and cyan which are the colors that they use um, so anything that's white is just going to stay white on the sublimation disc right here and any neon colors printers don't print neon colors you have to have specific neon ink so that's also going to look a little different on here so once again my apologies for the lighting so that's why it looks a little different on here but once it sublimates it'll become a little bit brighter okay so now i have all of the discs taped down and all that's left now is as soon as the heat press is warm to sublimate them Hey guys, so now we're ready to sublimate. So it's there. I flipped it over where the image is on the top and the aluminum um, disc is on the bottom. So if you're not run out of butcher paper like I did, the white butcher paper, until you get your um, supplies in, you can use a regular piece of printer paper. Uh, it just really depends on what you're making. So for aluminum foils, I don't mind just using a regular piece of printer paper. And I'm going to sublimate this at 400 degrees for 50 seconds. Those are sublimating. I just wanted to show you. This is a pretty hefty and heavy piece of hardware. It's not flimsy. It's very sturdy. Um, this one's mine, so I don't mind doing this. You hear that on the table? You hear how hard that is? So it's not a flimsy piece of um, hardware that we're putting these prints on. Um, so that's one of the reasons why the cost of these is going to be fifteen dollars each. Um, the hardware where we do have to order these we do have to get them in and then um, the amount of time it takes for us to design to adjust the design to fit into the circled area okay so it is done so I'm gonna flip that and I don't know if you guys can see this color difference that color difference right there is how you can tell that it has been sublimated Okay guys, so before I take this off, I want to show you, this is why you have to have a sheet of butcher paper or something on the bottom when you're sublimating. As you can see, the ink um, that's not on the aluminum foil is on this bottom sheet right here. And you don't want that ink to get onto any other projects that you might be doing. So this is why you have to have a sheet of paper underneath um, when you're sublimating. So you want a sheet of uh, butcher paper underneath. Um, what you're sublimating and then another piece on top. I ran out of butcher paper, which is why I'm using regular um, printer paper. Okay, so now that I've taken these off, you can see that what's left in here is the um, portion that has been sublimated. That's why that's that like that because the ink has been used onto the aluminum plate. Aluminum plates actually um, cool off very quickly, so you can handle them very quickly, uh, probably about a couple minutes after taking them out of the heat press. So these have a little tab that helps you take this plastic off, um, which is very helpful. I've ordered some things where it doesn't have tabs and taking that um, off in order to be able to uh, put your aluminum disc on is uh, a little bit more complicated. So you wanna make sure that this is centered um, where you want it to go before you press it down. 
Okay, so now that it's centered, it is good to go. And I already have one on the other side. So here is my double-sided um, angel charm. And I will make sure to take pictures so that you can see how it looks on your car. Okay, guys, so just want to show you. So this is how it hangs in the car. I do have a Hello Kitty conductor that I got when we were in Japan that I keep in my car. So I'm just going to move her out of the way just for a little bit. Um, but uh, this is how it would look on the rear view mirror of the car. And as you can see, as you're driving, it moves around. It is double sided. And um, these are your memory um, angel wings. Um, you can use them in your car or in any other area that you'd like to place these on.